Hello everyone, it's Makara here, and you're probably wondering where I am. Well, I'm floating in the skyline of Las Vegas. Just kidding. You can probably see my hotel room reflection in the window. But I am in Las Vegas, that was not a lie. And the reason I'm in Las Vegas is I came here with my sister Shaylin to do hair and makeup and costumes for the Mrs. America pageant. So, I am going to this pageant on Saturday and we're supposed to wear a formal evening gown and I did not bring a formal evening gown. I brought fabric. Hopefully I will be able to get something done by Saturday and I have two days to do it, but it's not two whole days, it's like two days with little pockets uh, of free time, so this is gonna be rough. And I had never made a dress in a hotel room before, but I got Old Faithful here. And I think we can do this. If I don't get this done, I will just not go, I guess. Because you literally have to wear something nice for this. So, let's go! So what I'm going to do in this project, and probably just a lot more in general in the future, is when I come to a point where I'm indecisive about what to do next in this project, I'm just gonna post it to Instagram and let my followers vote. A lot of them watch my story and vote because I think people like pressing buttons, so thank you all so much. So the first thing I had my followers vote on was which fabric I should use, and it was between a green and a burgundy fabric, and they chose yeah! this green. Next thing I had my followers vote on was whether I should make the skirt long or short, and they voted pretty much overwhelmingly long, which is great because I forgot to bring a razor, so <laughs> long it is. Okay, so the next thing I want to have my followers vote on is whether or not I should leave this price tag on. It says $5.99 long tablecloth. Don't say I never did anything for you guys. So, let's... Now, I didn't pack any measuring tape with me because why would I? So I just held the fabric up to myself and ran back and forth to the mirror to get the length that I wanted. And I didn't want it to be full length, but sort of ankle length because that's what's hip with the cool kids these days. And if you're wondering why I brought a sewing machine to Las Vegas, well, I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> what else are you gonna do for fun in Las Vegas? <laughs> Okay, so the real reason I brought it was so that we could do last minute alterations for pageant ladies on their gowns and swimsuits and such. Alright, so back to the dress that I'm making. You just saw me hem the bottom of the skirt, and now I am sewing the skirt panels together, but only on one side. Now, what... <laughs> okay, <laughs> so if you just noticed the discrepancy in the order in which I edited these clips, um, please comment and let me know. Now to achieve that leg slit in the front of the skirt, I wrapped the big long skirt panel around myself and overlapped it about four inches on the side. I wasn't quite sure that's what I was doing, but that's what I was doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. And my goal with this garment is to not think too much about it once. Spoiler alert, I think I accomplished that goal. So after pinning my four inch overlap in place, I sewed it in place, thereby making my skirt panel one big continuous circle. Then I folded the edge under about one inch and sewed all along the length of it, thereby making a channel for some elastic. Yes, by some miracle I did remember to bring elastic, but I did not remember to pack a safety pin to thread the elastic through, so I got creative and used a bobby pin, and I was not shocked at all when it worked perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is totally gonna work. After threading that there elastic through, I simply tied it to itself at the end and voila, I had my skirt done and I liked it as just a skirt by itself, which was kind of a problem because then I didn't want to turn it into a dress anymore, but I decided not to think about it too much for that night and I just wore it down to the lobby with that shirt. And here's a little time lapse of my sister doing what we did every morning there. Guys, I have to wear this dress tomorrow. I didn't work on it at all yesterday and I do not have a top part done and I have absolutely nothing in mind for it. Which means it's sketch time, but the first sketch that I made looked too much like the prom dress I made in a day, and the second sketch looked too much like something that I would rather make out of cotton. Procrastination log. Uh, so, I have to have this dress done by tomorrow morning, and I just spent the past, like, four hours wasting time by the pool. Okay, well, it wasn't a total waste of time, though, because I did dance with an elderly lady, and that's never a waste of time. Plus, I did some sketching there and then I wasted time swimming. And now I'm wasting time filming this because I kind of feel like my makeup looks pretty good and because I have no idea what to do next on my dress. Uh, just got a text that my brother got married, so that's cool. 
So, you know, I can't sew right now because I have so many other things to do. Get a snack, celebrate. All right, so then I finally made a sketch that I liked, but I'm sorry to tell you that I wasn't able to make the sleeve because I didn't have enough fabric or time. But to create the top, I draped the corner of the fabric up over my shoulder, and then I... I think I pretty much just cut... Did I really just, like, cut that? Okay. Yep, that's what I did. So I pinned the top corner of the fabric to my cami strap just to keep it in place, and then I pinned all the pleats where I wanted them. Okay, so at least something is happening. Next, I cleared off some of the makeup and such off the counter, got out my machine, and sewed all those pleats right in place. Now remember, I was like mad rushing at this point. Now my sister was sleeping in the other room, so I had to whisper, so the audio in this video is practically undiscernible, therefore I shall translate for you. Hmm, I really want to wear this skirt on its own because it's just so cute, but I need to attach the top to something because I can't rely on just tucking it in because it'll come untucked and look how droopy it is. Hmm, I need the top to be held taut. How am I going to do that? Well, you see, the top part would have to be a bodysuit, and hmm, look at my muscles. They look sort of muscly in this light, and you can tell that I'm thinking because look how my fingers are moving. Hmm, I think I have a solution. It's about to get a little weird. So, I realized that what I have to do <laughs> is attach this to a pair of underwear. Guys, I'm sorry this is so weird, but I had to make do with what I had on hand. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pin the bottom of this top to the underwear to make sort of a bodysuit. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done for sewing. So once I got the bodice pinned to the unmentionables, I sewed the bodice to said pair of unmentionables with a zigzag stitch so the elasticity would not be lost. Then I traced the front onto a doubled up piece of fabric to create the back, and I cut that out. And then here's a clip of me happily cutting out strips of fabric. Now I actually did this the first day before I had any idea what I'd do with them, but in almost every project I end up using strips of fabric, so I wanted to make sure I had those on hand. And I'm glad I did, because I used them to make these braids. And when I made the braids, I didn't even know what I was going to do with them. But I needed a little extra something something at the top of my bodice, so I used a little braid. And that there little braid was what connected the front of the top of the bodice to the top of the back of the bodice. Now even though the dress needed to be finished the next morning, I didn't finish it that night. Instead, I went out to the strip and watched some pretty water. And then the next morning was extremely cut for time because a contestant came by and needed the front of her evening gown taken up. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. And so I did that, and obviously since it was an on-stage evening gown, it took priority over my dress. But when I finished with her dress, I actually had like just enough time to finish the sash for mine, so it all worked out. So basically, I just made like a tube ribbon sash, whatchamacallit thing, and then I sewed in a few spots this braid on top. And that will serve as a belt to cover the elastic in my dress. And ta-da! Sorry I didn't have very much time to get good pictures or footage of this costume. or pff, not costume, dress. I guess I say costume because it looks like a Roman toga. But, um, yes, I am far from proud of how it turned out. If I would have packed more things that I needed, if I would have exercised more discipline and less procrastination, I'm sure it would have been better. But, as it was, I don't think anyone could tell that it was a tablecloth, so you know what? Oh well. Mission barely accomplished.